Hello, Andrew here on behalf of Skytex, and I wanted to walk you through what to expect from your first day with your new Skytex tablet. Here you see the Skypad 10S, and once you get your tablet home, the manufacturer recommends that you plug it in so you can charge it fully before you power it on for the first time. You will see a battery indicator on the tablet's screen when you first plug it in, and any time after, while plugged in, you can see the battery indication screen by pressing the power button briefly. Once charged, you will press and hold the power button for approximately 2-3 to three seconds, at which point the tablet will show the Skytex logo and then move on to an animated splash screen during its power-up process. Once powered on, you will touch the lock icon and swipe it towards the unlock icon that appears in response to your touch. A lot of this may look new to you, but it's rather easy to get underway. You will navigate to the Skytex setup wizard, which can be found in the Get Started folder in my case, or located in the App drawer indicated by this icon. The Skytex Startup Wizard will get you through the initial steps to get your tablet working. It will help you set up your Wi-Fi connection, if not already established, registering your tablet with Skytex, and signing you up for the Skytex newsletter. Now that we're done with the Setup Wizard, we will get some applications to make our device complete. Some of the very popular applications have quick links to get them onto your device. Instead of having to look around for them, there are shortcuts to download and install those apps directly to your Skytex tablet. These are labeled Git and the application name, such as Git YouTube or Git Netflix. Touching any of these will take you to a separate screen where you will confirm your decision to download said application. Then, download and installation begins. For other applications, you can go to the Skytex App Store, as well as the Google Play Store. After you've had a chance to use an app, be sure to leave a rating so that others can see what worked or did not work for you. The Calendar app should automatically sync with whatever email addresses you've placed on your device, with each calendar having a different color. You, of course, have the ability to add any other calendars that you need to your device. By tapping on a specific day, you can add appointments. Tuesday, January 7th, will be the opening day of the International CES Convention. So we're going to tap on that and add in our appointment at the Skytex booth first thing. You can transfer files to and from your tablet in a number of ways. You can transfer them directly from your computer to your tablet by plugging it in with the provided USB cable. Once plugged in, a notification will pop up. Navigate to the notifications by swiping down on the top left portion of the screen, touching the USB connected option, and turning on USB storage. Don't forget to confirm your choice. Now, just drag and drop the files you want from your computer onto your tablet's storage. Once done, turn off the USB storage in, on your tablet, and you can safely unplug your tablet from your computer. I will now use the File Manager application to make sure that the music file I transferred over was moved properly. Bluetooth is another way to transfer files. By first turning the Bluetooth module in your tablet to on through the Settings menu, you can make your device and whatever you're connecting discoverable to each other. In this case, I'll be giving myself a keyboard to work with, so I'll need to type in a specific sequence of numbers. Keep in mind that your Skytex tablet comes with 10 gigabytes of cloud storage. Cloud storage is the term for data that is not stored locally on your device or memory cards, but rather in a data server accessible through the internet. So anytime you have internet access, you have access to your 10 gigabytes of storage. It's a good way to keep your data accessible, but not filling up your tablet. You will start by opening the CloudLink application and pressing forward, signing up with your email address and whatever password you choose, and a quick stop at your email inbox to confirm your storage. Once done with that, you can download the FileLocker app and your free 10 gigabytes of storage through FileLocker. In FileLocker, you will now be able to upload your files. Since this is a new tablet and I don't really have anything on here, except perhaps the world's worst photograph, so I'll upload that, and now anywhere I have internet access, I can get that photo. But you can use music, documents, the sky's the limit. That should get you through most of it. Enjoy your new tablet.